So guys, now let's start this one with constructors. In our previous attempt, we gave all the initialization processes when we declare a variable. In both car and in both vehicle, in both classes, when we declare a variable, we have initialized it. So let's try to take these things by a user using a scanner class. In my last video, I have uploaded it with making constructors and using this scanner class. You can watch it to get a clarification about scanner class and constructors. So now let's make a constructor for this vehicle class. So let's create it as public. You know, the same name is used when we make in a constructor for a class. So a public vehicle. So here is Ooh, the name is wrong here and let's quit the name right now you can see right this is the constructor of this class also let's take these parameters this price one and full things take as a uh, parameters let's give int p and let's give int f here so uh, we'll clear these variables here okay let's clear the, clear the values of these variables right now we can get this p and f the price and full from a user when we create the instance of this vehicle class for that let's give price is equal to the argument which is given when we make an instance. Full is equal to the f argument when we given when we are giving when making an instance of this vehicle class. So there's a problem. Let's see what is this problem. We have moved into the car class. In car class, there's an error. So what is it? Let's see what is the error create constructor matching super you can see in this super class vehicle is the super class there's a constructor so in this car class also we need a constructor if a super class has a constructor in public method as a public method we must create a constructor in this car class too so let's create a constructor you know the name can be used as public and we can use the same name and let's create this one so let's give some arguments here before giving this one let's give some arguments so we have a string colors for color we'll give c have we ever used a C? No, we haven't used C, so we use C here and we can give int and we give ty here for tire. So let's pass these values for these variables color equals C and number of tires equals dy okay now we are done with it but let's clear this one let's clear this one and let's clear this one too okay now we can initialize those things when we making an object that's another related problem so let's see what is the problem you can see in main class we have created a car instance but we haven't passed the values if we pass the values we can get these things so let's pass a value in car constructor so let's pass some more constructors more arguments to get this super one too so let's give it as a we need to pass int p and int f 
okay now let's pass int p and int f in this car constructor 2 so let's get into it and let's pass string I'm creating it in a wrong one we need to go into car constructor and we have to create these variables price and full int p comma int f here okay there's a problem again so the problem is we haven't passed the arguments for this constructor when we creating a car object so let's pass those values you can see we have pass we need c c means a color t by means the number of tires p means price and f means full also we will pass these things this p and f things these arguments for this super class for that we can use the super keyword super we need to pass p comma f right we have passed those things too now let's get into our main method and let's create the instance correctly so we need to pass a string first c means a color let's pass a color here so we can pass let's pass something like a new color like black and let's pass ty number of tires let's pass it as 4 once again and let's pass p price let's do 400 here and let's pass the full economy let's give it as 12 liters per kilometer oh, how we have missed something we have missed c t y p are there c t y p are there and f is not there we'll put it here and we need the number of tires here let's give it as 4 and we need another argument of f it's we can give it as 12 liters per kilometer so all are created and let's run this program and see whether we can see these arguments so we have called get details of vehicle so this is a vehicle it was prompt out the price is 400 and I can drive 12 kilometers per liter 412 were inserted we have just created a instance of this car object we have passed the parameters using super keyword here we have passed the parameters using super keyword for this class so this is the super class vehicle class is the super class so it was passed and let's see whether other details are there let's go with car one and let's get the details of a car and let's run it again and you can see this is a vehicle price is 412 kilometers per liter and when it comes for car details you can see this is a car my color is black and I have four tires black and four so this is the thing that we can use by a constructor instead of passing this values at this moment let's get this thing from a user for that you know we need a special class called scanner so let's make an instance of this scanner class scan equals new you can get a clear idea about this scanner class by watching my previous video we need to get here system.in now we have created a scan scan instance 
by using this scan instance we can get these values so let's get it first of all let's give a prompt window for the user enter we need first of all we need a color enter a color so I'll remove this ln part and let's use scan dot next we are getting a string as an input now so we just need only a next one next keyword to get a string from this thing. so let's pass this value we need to make another variable here string and let's give a name as let's give it as color here and we can use the same segment for other things by using this thing and doing some minor changes so we need to get four parameters here i'll paste it four times now we need first of all we need a color and then we need the tires enter tires let's give number of number of tires and this time we need it as tire and we are getting an integer here so we need to use next int also in next thing we need the price enter a price and we are getting it also as an integer so next int and this is a int here and this one also a int here and this is the price and at final we need a full efficiency enter the full and we need once again next int to get an integer as an input and we will give this name as full especially it one it also a integer so all the errors are cleared and let's give these names now We don't need double quotations here because it is a variable which was declared earlier and let's give price in this position price and we need the tire variable the value which which is entered by the user you need to use here color tire price and food so the variables are done and let's see whether we can get the output so enter a color so we'll give this time it as green enter the number of tires let's give two tires this time enter a price let's give 1200 and enter the full let's give 15 kilometers per liter you can see the output in this one first we we retrieve the details of a vehicle so this is a vehicle the price is 1200 i can drive 15 kilometers in this car details position it gives this is a car my color is green and i have two tires the things that we entered exactly here so now let's move into our next part.